London Center in Phoenix, it's time for the Pat McMahon Show. From drug addict to class act, Brenda Combs was a homeless crack addict. How did she wind up? A respected school teacher. If she looks familiar to you, by the way, Brenda Combs uh, told her story on the Today Show. Uh, you may have seen her on CNN uh, because the story is that dramatic. But where did it begin for you? We had a very normal life. My parents are pretty spiritual. Um, we went to church on Sunday. We did things as a family. Education was very important in my household, and so my parents stressed getting a good education. I had low self-esteem for various reasons, and that low self-esteem caused me to sort of withdraw, sometimes even from my family. And I started college, and here I am in an adult world as a teenager, and I didn't really fit in with that crowd either. I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. I was drawn to the people who were partying and drinking, and you know, I found it was very difficult to go out and party every night and still maintain a 4.0 GPA. Now, at that transition, I, I really want you to stop at that moment. And here, she came from a spiritual family, attentive to the kids, education was everything, 4.0, she graduated ahead of her class in Flagstaff, a lovely town. What went wrong and how wrong could it go? Brenda was shot, stabbed, raped, homeless for years, and a single mother. When I, when I dropped out of school, I feel that that stopped my process of growth and development as an individual, as a woman, and I just started to spiral downhill, and I started drinking and doing marijuana, smoking cigarettes, and eventually the marijuana led me to all other drugs, and um, it just so happens cocaine ended up being my drug of choice, and before long I had lost my job, lost my apartment, I had lost my will to be a positive person, and I went into rehabs and treatment and counseling, and none of those things worked. So You were really strung out, weren't you? Oh, I really was, because how I ended up in Phoenix is one day some drug dealers drove up. I was walking down the sidewalk, and they said, Brenda, we're going to Phoenix to do this credit card scam. Do you want to go with us? And I said, okay. So uh, that was the first time I got arrested. This is your mug shot. This is my mug shot. How old were you? I was in my early 30s, I think, then. How long had you been doing drugs? At that time, probably close to 10 years. Whoa. Probably. A lot of people after 10 years aren't even around. Yeah. This is when I got shot in the drive-by shooting shortly after getting to Phoenix. I had been here three weeks, got shot in a drive-by shooting, and it took out my ankle joint. I ended up having 11 operations this was me uh, after 10 years of being homeless and being a drug addict. Shortly after this picture was taken, I found myself in an alley and I woke up and realized someone had stolen the shoes off of my feet. And it was July, it was 115 degrees outside, and I had to walk from Roosevelt down to Van Buren. On that with, sidewalk. On the sidewalk with no shoes on. And by the time I made it to the park, I had second and third degree burns on my feet. This is my son, Michael. Um, after I finally got my life together and got clean off of the streets, off of drugs, got married, um, I ended up in a relationship. There was domestic violence. And um, my son was born while I was in labor. He had a stroke and he had massive brain damage to the left cortex part of his brain. So he was paralyzed, he was having seizures. Um, basically, they didn't really give me you know, any positive outcome for his future. But I think it's time for a little good news, huh? And he's doing fine. Yes, this is my son Michael now. He is uh, in the third grade. He has recovered from his stroke. He's a normal, healthy, happy little boy. Going through those things changed me in many different ways. Um, you know, I'm not selfish, I'm not self-centered, and every day I really try to live my life to be the best example of love and service to others. Um, my son and I, every day when we get up, we do this positive affirmation that I wrote, and basically just saying that, you know, today, you know, I'm going to make the right choice, and I'm going to do the right thing, even when no one is watching. Who taught you that? I 
taught myself that. I'm the Ambassador of Inspiration and Achievement at Grand Canyon University, and I'm also in the doctoral program, Organizational Leadership with an Emphasis in Education. You got your master's when? I got my master's in 2007. I did it in one year as an online student. If I can go from being a homeless drug addict, living for 10 years off and on underneath the 7th Avenue Bridge in downtown Phoenix, to soon being Dr. Brenda Combs, then they too can do it. They have to believe in themselves and their ability to do their best. And realizing that your dreams won't let go of you. So never let go of your dreams.